Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we're still over here just simplifying um, expressions and just to let you know, uh, whenever you are uh, simplifying, you're, you guys think of it like doing the math, okay? But whenever you're like obeying these operation symbols um, and simplifying a problem, you are going to want to uh, have the order of operations out if there's more than one thing to simplify. So take a look at this. I have more than one thing to do. There's some multiplication, some subtraction, some multiplication. Uh, more than one thing to do, obey the order of operations. So order of operations say to handle any groupings first. I don't see any of those. Then any exponents. I don't see any of those. Uh, but then any multiplication and division. So I definitely have some of that. I have multiplication and it's inverse division. Uh, going on in this problem, well, really just multiplication, you can see I have two separate multiplication expressions, 6 times 4 and 5 times 3. Now, why do I say they're separate? They are not sharing any numbers or symbols. They have a minus sign between them. I can work them both. They're completely unrelated. Let's go ahead and do that. 6 times 4 is 24. 5 times 3 is 15. Now, um, anytime you have not yet used something in an expression, it's going to drop down to be in the next line, and then you'll use it next. So this minus sign that I haven't touched is going to drop. So new problem now is 24 minus 15, which makes sense because the last step to the order of operation is to do addition and its inverse, subtraction. So 24 minus 15, I like to screw this one up. I've, I always, my brain always flips to 11, but this is 9. <laughs> I think I screwed this one up in a video before. Okay, so 24 minus 15, that is 9. Wonderful. Um, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.